I started to work with the computer before there was any computer in the United States. I was a professor at Harvard University in the 60s, and I ran courses in advanced exploration in visual communication. And I was working with a the computer, there was no computer. One megabyte was big like two rooms. One of my most favorite form of expression, and I think also important, is the tactile work. Because in the regular work of art, it is a static expression of something that happened in the past. Happened in the past and it doesn't continue anymore. So I introduced this element of the unexpected for the first time in the history of art in the tactile work. This is the work of the 50s. If you, you see it's a structure. When I touch it, I create a, an event. And then I create another event. And create another event. And this would appear and disappear to give place to another event. history starts in different dimensions. Like a child, the first expression is lines, like the prehistoric. Then you have like the Egyptian, Babylonian, Greek, etc. Two dimensions, everything is flat. And then in the Renaissance, you have a depth, a three dimension, and volume, perspective. There was many tentatives to go beyond, like the Futurism, Cubism, Dadaism, etc to try to introduce time, but they illustrate the time instead of introducing time. Time is something that you can't repeat and you can't expect. So here, when you touch it, the movement, you create a sound corresponding to your movement. Every movement creates a different color. It's a sound created. I mean, it's not the sound of Dore Mi Fa Sol harmonic. It's a sound created especially with every element. You can make it play like in a guitar. You can perform on it. So you can see, you can see the sound and you can touch it, it's all the time new and unexpected and give it the ability to share and create an interactive dialogue with the spectator, sharing the uh, excitement of creativity with the public. Thank you.